Welcome back, Spag Team. It's your boy, the Spagologist, back again with another Swag You movie review. And today we are doing Bad Boys for Life. And I enjoyed this film. I had a good time with it. It was a lot of laughs. We got Mike Lowry and Marcus back again on another whirlwind adventure. And I love it. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. Sorry, that's another movie altogether. But love them back together on screen, doing it big. Once again, Bad Boys for Life back at it on another whirlwind adventure and i think there was i think this one is not as good as two i still feel like two is the goat i know a lot of people feel like bad boys what is the goat i feel like the best one is bad boys two it's a lot more funny a lot more action and the chemistry between martin and will have never been better but martin and will are back at it again doing it perfectly in this film their chemistry is spot on once again love their chemistry love the hilarity this movie is funny like funny like the second one they managed to do the thing like they do a couple of the like the things you would call the thing <laughs> you know in the movie you know what i'm saying i love that they all they brought back a lot of the bad boyisms you know what i'm saying and the new characters are great i love that they have vanessa hudgeson's in there or Huggins from, um, you know, High School Musical and all that. She's in there, but she's awesome. A couple other actors are in there that are cool, that, you know. And then there's a lot of awesome cameos throughout this film. They did a lot of cool cameos in this one that I really enjoyed. But like I said, the bread and butter and what we go in there for is Will and Martin's chemistry. And they are just, they you they sell you the movie, you know what I'm saying? With, without them, the movie is okay but i mean it wouldn't be bad boys without them you know what i mean so i'm glad that they decided to do this i enjoyed it it's a great story i like the story that they had for like this movie like the story for bad boy the continuation to, it, it had a legit reason to be another movie and there was a couple of times that i was gonna throw the movie in the trash for doing something that was just retarded like what like i'm done i'm done and then is like nah <laughs> and i was like okay all right all right yeah, yeah i was about to say you was about to get thrown in the trash you was like i was like, i was at the trash can i flipped the lid up and i was i was about to, but then y'all said all right all right we just play it and i was like okay okay you know what i mean so there was a couple of times like that in the film where i was like on the edge of throwing that thing in the trash but overall i really enjoyed it and mostly because martin and will's chemistry was legit and there were, like I said, there was really cool cameos. I love the new characters that are part of Ammo Squad. Ammo Squad's pretty cool. And like Ammo Squad's basically the new age technology of uh, being a police officer. And you know, Will's trying to still stay, stick with his police officer in ways. Whereas, you know, Martin's still trying to retire <laughs> and everything. And I just love the way it went. I enjoyed it. I like the twists and turns that it took. I like... I like that it almost had me throw it in the trash because it was satisfied for me not to have to throw the movie in the trash. So that was good. And my swag you grade for bad boys for life would have to be a solid. We're going to give it a solid. A, a solid A. I think it's worth seeing, especially if you've seen the other ones. I've seen both of them today. You can see them today, right now, before you go see Bad Boys for Life. It's right on Netflix. Both is one and two are both on Netflix. So get it while it lasts because sometimes Netflix doesn't have a sequel. I mean, um, the first one, they always all, always have the sequel, but they actually have both movies on Netflix right now. So you can go check it out and then go see Bad Boys 3 and tell me how you like it in the comment section below. Also, if you're new here and you're trying to join the swag team, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below or hit it right here when it pops up on the side. Also, if you want to be the first of the swag team to see a video when it pops up on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button first, join the swag team, then that notification bell will slide on over and you click that ding, and you never miss a video that pops up on the channel, whether it's on your cell phone, computer, tablet, whatever. So make sure you do that so you don't miss any of the swag when I post it. Also, man, let me know, like I said, if you um, like this, if you like this review, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps with the channel down below. But if you didn't like it, I ain't tripping. Look at Jordan, I ain't pipping. But let me know how y'all feel about Bad Boys for Life. Did you see it? Have you, uh, are you going to see it? If you want to watch the other ones, like I said, they're on Netflix. Check those out. Go see the movie. And let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below and on the social media sites. Until the next video, I love y'all 3,000. I'll holla. Peace.